I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very basic and interesting communication question on logarithmic functions. The question here is, explain why the x-intercept of logarithmic function f of x equals to log to the base b of x, where b is greater than 0 but not equal to 1, is at x equals to 1. What we're trying to say here is that if you sketch any graph of a logarithmic function, then you will normally get a graph which is kind of like this, right? This is when b is greater than 1, correct? Or you may get a graph which is kind of like this. Let me, let me just show you the other graph also. Kind of like this, okay? This is when b is greater than 0 but less than 1, correct? So these are the two types of graphs which you will see whenever you graph a function which is log to the base b of x, correct? So b could be either greater than 1 or between 0 and 1. It can never be 1 or it can never be negative, right? That is what you... Now, the question is, explain why the x-intercept of this logarithmic function is at x equals to 1. Why this point is 1? That is the question for you. Okay, now basically if you see the coordinates of this point for our function, we are saying that the point is at x equals to 1, y value is 0. That is for the log b of x, correct? Now log b of x is inverse of exponential function, correct? Now, if I have b to the power of 0 as an exponential function, what result do you expect? b to the power of 0, where b is not equal to 0, where b is any of these things, is always 1, correct? So that is your answer. Since exponent of 0 results in 1, right, to any base, right, where base b is not equal to 0, right, even for negative it works, but in any case, in our domain at least, to any base, since exponent of 0 results in 1 to any base, b not equal to 0, right, because b 0 to the power of 0 is not defined, correct, therefore we don't consider that. So since exponent of 0 results in 1 to any base, logarithm, which is inverse of exponential function is always 0 for x equals to 1. Do you get the idea? So this is a very important communication question and therefore I just wrote this down for you. Go through it once again. Exponent if it is 0, then the value of the function is always 1. So inverse will give you what? 1, 0, right? Which is logarithmic of that value. So that is how it is related. Thank you and all the best.